Hi guys. All right, we're gonna get ready to code some words, okay? So let's look at our first word. Is there anything you notice about that word? That's right, it's got that ED ending. Remember, we always check the ending to see if we have, the end of a word, if we have an ending or if we have like a final syllable. So I'm gonna go ahead and box off that ED because remember, it's a different part. Okay, then what do you notice here? I see CH digraph, so I'm gonna go ahead and underline that because I know those two letters come together to make one sound, they say ch, very good. Then what else do we have? My vowel is U, but look, it's got that R behind it. So that's our letter combination. So I'm gonna put that arc to put them together and it's gonna say er, so I have ch, urn, churn, very good. And then we're gonna add the ED, churned, churned. Listen to this ED, churned. It just makes the d sound. So churned, you guys know this word. This is the word the, that's right. So it's got that th, so I need to underline it. And then that e is kind of different. Listen to how I say it, the, uh, uh. This e makes a funny sound. We're actually gonna put an upside down e on top of it. And we're gonna be talking about that more next week because that sound is a special sound. Sometimes we see things like banana, uh, uh. It's an A, but it makes the uh sound. It's one of the most common sounds that we have is that uh sound, and sometimes it just doesn't follow rules. So churned the, and then what about our next word? Well, where are my vowels? I've got more than one vowels. I've got a U and I've got an E, and so I've got that double consonant in the middle. So what do I need if there's a double consonant? I split it straight down the consonant. So now it's just like having a CVC word. And in a CVC word, that vowel is short. So I have b -ut. but, very good. And then over here, I've got a vowel in front of a consonant, but what is it? It's an E and an R, so I need to connect them with that arc and say t-er. So butter. so churned the butter, very good. Okay, what about our next word? Well, this is a really long word and it's actually a compound word. So I need to break it up first in the middle of the word. Well, I recognize this word right here. So I'm gonna know it's gonna break up right there because I know this is room. So if I do that, my word on the other side, what do you notice? I've got an A as a vowel. It's in front of an S, which is a consonant. So it's gonna be short. It's got that double S. What do I do if there's double S? I've got to cross one of them off because when I sound it out, I want to say s, s. So now I've got cool ass, class, very good. And over here, what do you see? I've got that OO, which I've already said, I know it makes the OO sound, rough, oom, room. So classroom. Then over here, what do you see? Well, I've got more than one vowel. So let's see, I've got an E and an E and two consonants between it. So what am I going to do? I'm gonna break it apart right between those consonants that right, that's right. Now I've got an E in front of an N, so this is gonna be short. Now here's the trick though, I've got a C. Now remember, I have to check my C's now because I know the C can make the K sound, but it can also make the S sound. This C has an E behind it, and remember in CE or CI or CY, that letter makes the s sound. So this is gonna make the s sound or the soft C, the cedilla C. So I'm gonna add that little cedilla underneath it, okay? And then I'm gonna say s-n, sen, very good. And then over here, I've got an E in front of an R. So mark them together, arch them together, t-er, ter. So sen, ter. So classroom center. Let's read them one more time, are you ready? Churn the butter, classroom center. All right, you guys did an amazing job. Thank you.